Yes, PP. 2G connection, you don't know, sir, the 29th of July. Now and wow, in Rotterdam, me members say, you don't know, sir, connect the crowd. Yeah, man, Jack, man, I say, so I'm more than righteousness, and they go like this. Boom, I justify, I go burn them. I justify, I go down them. I justify, I go burn them. Place it, yeah, perch him, yeah. Keep it alive for you and for me. Boom, Jack, man, I say, so. Okay, we're sitting here for Party Peeps uh, TV, PP2G TV, with gentlemen. Hi, gentlemen. Nice to be here. Thanks for your interest. Good to be in Amsterdam, you know. Good to have you here. Thank you. Uh, you're from Germany originally? I think so, yes. You think yeah. so? <laughs> I've read that um, you've traveled back and forth to Jamaica. Is that when your interest in reggae started? Well, um, I traveled the first time to Jamaica when I was 17. Now I'm 31, you know. It, it, it is something that really grew over the years, you know. Um, Reggae music is very, very strong in Jamaica, and it's part of the culture, you know, so I was always interested in where the music is coming from, you know, because I had my first contact with reggae music through the um, record selection of my elder brother. You know, I was 10, 11, and he had some wonderful records from Dennis Brown and Peter Tosh and, of course, Bob Marley, and I always um, felt the music right away. So when I was 17, I wanted to know where the music is coming from, you know, so I went to Jamaica, and... The first time was really confusing, you know. It's a very crazy place, you know. And um, but it, it 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 taught me a lot, you know. And I'm, um, I really had a strong experience. Okay, so you decided to go back and forth, or did, did it stay with that one time? Like, I mean, I, I went back to, to Germany, but um, it's something. The first time I visited Jamaica after I came back to Germany, I was like, okay, it's a place, you know, where I always got to go because it's like a gas station for me. It really recharged me, and I, I felt really strong after my Jamaica times. And, um, but I never had the plan to be a reggae singer, you know. All of the man who treat the woman nice, and you treat her like an empress, listen, I want to very carefully. Go like this. Joy in your eyes, be not seen or tears. Love is what you're giving me throughout the years. Every time you need me, I will be there, my dear, I swear. Boom. You just happened to get into the music when you were in Jamaica? Yeah, I mean, also in Germany, I really, like how I said, I was in the music already, you know, through the records from my brother, you know, but, um, you know, after I visit Jamaica, I felt something that I never felt before, you know, the, how important music can be for people. Of course, it's um, a sort of entertainment, but it's more than an entertainment. It's, a, it's something very spiritual, and I never experienced something like this before, you know, so... Um, I travel Jamaica all the time, and I always enjoy singing, and I sing in Jamaica also in, in Germany because we... Um, brought the records from Jamaica to Germany and okay. then we play them and we drink some Jamaican rum and enjoy ourselves and without any plan and um, more and more people came you know so it became really something you know where we could relate to and we um, felt this is a music which goes beyond music because it's very political it's um, you know very up to time now if you listen to Bob Marley lyrics they so up to time you know they never um, they never die and the, um, the message don't change. And the message in the music is very strong. So that was um, the point what really attracted me. Born a hypocrite and born a parasite and everything we do not see them when we fight and wrap up with strife. Leaders of the world not building dynamite. That's why we're not going to leave it up to them, leave it up to them. Okay, as you know, this is uh, for an urban online community website. Are you familiar with the internet yourself? Yeah, yeah, you know, if you want uh, information, it's, the internet is a good something, and um, it can connect the people, but it's also a place for the cowards, you know, who, um, <laughs> who okay. don't have the bad to say something on your face, so they just go on the internet and they stay, you know, anonymous. It's, um, it have good and bad sides, but... Um, but for yourself as an artist, do you have a website where people can find information about you? Yes, it's journeytoja.com, and, um, you know, it's, it shows where... where, where um, the tour dates, you know, it's a um, diary in there, it's a guest book in there, and it's nice, you know, because it, um, I really read it too, and I can see it on the reaction of the fans, you know, like mm -hmm. something's, you know, this got to change, or, you know, it's, it's, you can communicate with the fans through the website, it's, it's a very nice medium. So do you, do you actually um, respond to the fans yourself? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. I mean, I exaggerate when I say yes, 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 you know, sometimes. Because if I, I started to answer one, one letter and then suddenly there was millions of letters and yeah. you can't do this, you know. But um, I always read it, you know, and um, it shows me a lot, you know, to see the reaction of the people. 
So how do you feel about community sites? You already said that it has good sides and bad sides, but uh, would you join a community site like partypeeps2000.com? Why not? If it's a positive something, of course, yes. You know, I think, I mean, it brings people together. Are you don't know, sir, this is partypeep2000.com, yeah, man. Someone look at them and tell them this is more love and righteousness, yeah, man. And the good thing now with the internet, for example, I was in Gambia, you know, I played a tour in Gambia, and there's no record store, you know. And the people don't have money to buy food, so how do they buy records, you know. And um, the first show, the people sing all the lyrics, and I was like, okay, you know. And there was one woman, and she had a computer, you know, and she burned the CDs, you know, so it's nice, it's okay, you know, at least the people can receive the music through the internet. Another thing is, you know, a producer in Jamaica said, Jenko, man, I got a new instrumental, and he just sent it to me through the internet, and as an MP3, and I can voice it and send it back to him, you know. If, if, if you'd have told me this 15 years ago, I would say, you must be mad, you know. And it's wonderful if we can use it like this. But it's also a place for the cowards, how I used to say a little while ago, because they, um, they can spread their negativity too, you know. Yeah, but it's something what's, what's always going to be there, with, with or without the internet. Right, right, right. True, true. That's a, that's a statement, yeah. So how did you learn Patois so well? Did you live in Jamaica? Yes, I mean, I spent years there together, you know. You know and um, English was one of my better subjects in school. But the first time I went to Jamaica, I couldn't understand a word from what they say, you know. I was really, um, okay, what kind of language is this? I, I couldn't understand anything, you know. But I think if, you, um, if you're interested in a subject and you, um, you dive in it, after a while you become a part of it, you know, no matter if you want it or not, it's just something what happened. And more and more, my school English got less, and the patois came in more and more. Now, sometimes when I went to Jam uh, America, it's hard for me to understand them, you know, because uh, sometimes they don't understand me to, um, to speak proper English, you know. Now it's more like, I mean, I understand them. I don't understand, you know. But um, if I spend some years in Holland, I probably get a, a Dutch accent yeah. too, you know. It's depending on the place. Okay, well, I want to thank you for this. For interview, yes, and I wish you good luck tonight on stage. You. you will be here, yes. I can make uh. it, but <laughs> I will definitely check it out. Okay, uh, okay. Thank you. Thanks. Blessed love. You have to appreciate the gift of life. Don't appreciate. Yeah, man, Jenko, when I say so. Boom!